going to talk about is the revolved feature command. Okay, so it's really pretty much what it sounds like. I usually like to click my reference geometry first by using a center line because that is going to be what I rotate about when I revolve. Now you can use any kind of geometry to create a revolve. Um, and the coolest looking is usually something spliny looking and and nice. So I'm gonna go to the feature tab, select revolved. It's telling me that my sketch is opened and you know I'm, I'm gonna wanna close the sketch because I, I don't wanna use any kinda thin feature or anything so I'm gonna go back to my sketch, select this guy, create a line, alright now I have a closed profile all right, and that is my midpoint so I'm gonna rotate it okay that you can see better so I'm gonna rotate this shape about this midpoint all right so let's go back to feature and let's say revolve and it actually knows line one is my center point and because it's a closed surface closed um, piece of geometry it knows all right I've got a closed uh, I got a closed piece of geometry and I got a center point we're gonna revolve it and see if he likes it you can also add contours uh, similar to if you walk down the aisle in the supermarket and looked at um, you looked at the detergent bottles those would include a, a, a contour that sends this geometry in different directions and it's all nice. Click OK and there you go. We can go to view, hide, hide um, our sketches and there you go. You get yourself some crazy shape. So I hope you enjoyed that one. It's, a, it's definitely a powerful feature and if you're gonna make a mold or something you could mold you could create your mold based on this particular component we'll talk about those later on but that's your practical application for something like this feel free to go ahead and play with it I hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk in the next one